All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is your brother Shamak out of the Great Millstone Atlanta camp. Before I get started, I want to give all the glory. If it praises unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rechach Kadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well in the overseas tabernacle of David. And Shalom to our sincere Akim that's pushing and teaching truth across four corners of the earth. And Shalom to our sincere believers out there. Okay, so he, man, really here with a mandatory prayer, which are the curses in Hebrew, are known as the curses in Hebrew. Okay, and um. And we understand as Hebrew Israelites, prayers are much, you know, much stronger and much more genuine and sincere when thrown up in the Hebrew. OK, which is in our, which is our native tongue. Hebrew is our native tongue in Israel. And that's our that's our native land is what we consider Hebrew Israelites. All right. But to the naked eye, you know, curses sounds, you know, very harsh, you know, or very, very brutal and cruel, you know. But, you know, that's 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 the that's the spirit of the truth, man. The spirit of the truth is not is not for no soft spirit, okay? And also you you thought you thought the curses, man, uh pertain really really pertain to wickedness, man. Okay? And the wickedness uh befalls where? In the in the in the society now, in this world today, okay, because it's in the hands of the wicked, pertain to with pertain to Job chapter 9, verse 24. Okay? So we throw up these curses, man. Okay, so here's the here's the um a prayer we hey we we thought we 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 always throw up, man. You know, really, I pertain to myself, man, throw up even more, you know, but basically mainly, you know, uh, you know, when, when brothers fellowship, you know, whole, uh, also throwing up the Lord's prayer as well, throwing up the anointing prayer, throwing up the um, Shammai, the hero Israel prayer pertain to Deuteronomy chapter six, verse four, you know, the Lord's prayer pertain to Matthew chapter six, verse nine, uh, the anointing prayer pertain to Numbers chapter six, verse 24 through 26. So, you know, all these prayers are really mandatory prayers. Okay. But we also, as Hebrew Israelites, and, and being there within the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, uh, you 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 understand that this place must must fall before the kingdom of heaven is established under our rulership. Okay, truly under the rulership of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, but under under the rulership, okay, of the of the Israelites, okay, ruling over the world, the Black Spanish and Native Americans getting that rulership back. So um, so I'll go ahead and read out the prayer and translate it uh, word by word. Okay. Uh, the, the the Paleo Hebrew uh, characters are above each each word, okay. And we read the Hebrew from right to left. All right, so you so it reads Yahweh being the heavenly Father, Bahashim in the name Yahweh Shai, which means He delivers, He saves. Salak Rayim, Salak meaning Salak meaning sin, Rayim meaning evils, Wa meaning and Anashim meaning destruction. Salaki, so, so like I meaning punishment. Salaki, so like forgive me for that. Wa, in a body, meaning destruction. And you see that M, that yum at the end of that, that's making the words plural. Okay, so I I nash is punishment. A body is destruction. But when you put that yum at the end, when you put the yum at the end, it's making it plural. So destructions and punishments. Okay, so continuing on, it says wa and haragim deaths, <laughs> wa and mashapatim judgments. Al, which is is which is uh meaning unto, call all, Adawanyam, Edomites, and Edomites are the so-called white people today, okay, they that's their true biblical identity which they try to hide, name it, proclaiming themselves to be white people. No, you're not a color. The same way we're not black people, we're Israelites. You are not white people. You're Edomites, okay. Wa meaning and Gawanyam meaning nations or heathen, okay, because you other nations are not off the hook as well, man. Y'all have, have been ruling over the Israelites. Y'all have, have been punishing the Israelites. Okay, for you Africans, you you uh, you damn uh, Koreans and Asians. All right, you're 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 not you're not Israelites, man. All you other nations, you're outside the temple. This Bible is not for you. This truth is not for you. Okay, the Lord is not with you. All right, you damn, uh you Arabs, it, it, all these nations outside of Black Spanish and Native Americans, man. Okay, why ayabim nawa? Meaning our enemies. That nawa, nawa at the end of that word after the yum is our. So ayam is enemy. Okay, our enemies. All right. Continue on. It says babakasha, 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 which meaning which means please, please, please. Yahweh, being the heavenly Father again, by Hashem in the name of Yahweh Sha, which is which is Yahweh Sha is our Savior, which means He delivers, He saves, and He's coming back to save who the children of Israel, His people. My, the scriptures always speak about his people, my people. It's possessive pronouns, man. 
Isn't this truth is not rocket science. The water meaning thanks Amon, meaning confirmed. Okay. So reading it all the way out and then backing it up, I'm gonna back it up with scriptures as well, okay? For for this cause you know, simple ones will you know will, will try to perceive this to be a hate speech. But this is ultimately, man, this is just the truth. And if you really want this place to fall and, and want to rule, okay, in righteousness, hey, send send these prayers up so Yahweh Bashim Yahusha our power can hear. And he's and he's gonna he proceed with these plagues that he's already put in the work for, man. He's already sending plagues to this place. Hey, and it's face boosting to his servants, man. It's face boost. This is this is beautiful times, man. This is the best time of our life, man. Cause we we've been in captivity. The best time is is when you're getting near and near to deliverance. You know, <laughs> we got smiles on our faces right now, man. Okay, but I'm gonna read it all the way through. Okay, now that now that I have translated. This is uh it reads Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and you can also say Bahashim Rakakadash in the name of the Holy Spirit. Okay. So you so Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakadash, Shalak Rayim, Wa Anashim, Wa Abadium, Wa Haragim, Wa Mashapatyam, Al Kao, Aduanyam, Wa Gawayam, Wa Yabyam Nawa, Babgasha, 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 Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakadash, the water of Amon. Okay? And let me let me get uh scriptures to back this up. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 18, verse 7. So of thy people was accepted both of the salvation. Salakia. So of thy people was accepted both the salvation of the righteous and destruction of the enemies. So that's what so that's what that's what that's what it is. That's the essence of this prayer, man. You know, we want salvation for the righteous and for the righteousness to come in, for Yahweh Shah to uh to dwell and for the for the Israelites to dwell in peace, okay? In the into in, in entirety. You know, the, the enemies must fall. This this place must be destroyed. Babylon the Great, which is America, must be destroyed, which is the which the head, which is the head of this uh beast, man. Okay? America is the leader of all these nations, man. Alright? But you nations are now off the hook. Okay. Alright, so let's get uh Sorak. Just to get a just to just to uh back it up even more. Let me get Sorak chapter 25 or 7. There be nine things which I have judged in mine heart to be happy. In the tenth I will utter with my tongue, a man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. It is that's why this truth right now is a blessing, because we see the fall of this society, man. We see the fall of our enemy. We see the so-called white man's rulership being taken down by Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is sending plagues, man. He sent this coronavirus to put death. He sent it, he sent this virus to uh have the economy crash. Even if Esau puts it off as as if it was his plan, but we know the Lord controls all. He's the Father of Spirits, man. He controls this thing. This is this is his movie, all right. And our eyes is, our eyes are blessed to see the fall of this enemy, and that's why we throw over these curses, man. Even more, you know, it's a lock where I am sending evils, man. You know, we know he's in control, okay. So let's get let's get another point. Let me get another uh scripture, you, and you can't. You can't debunk this, man, because people would be like, is, is that a right thing to do? You know, just because they did a wrong, you know, or um, just because they did something wrong, does does that mean, throw up? you know, if people try to try to debunk this or whatnot, man. But it ultimately, the, the spirit of the Lord has to be within you to receive this, man, because this is this is the bitter part of the truth. You know, this is the bitter part. You know, it, doesn't, it this is not it's not the Lord's not come back with hugs and kisses. His gospel is not full of hugs and kisses. It's full of actually, actually full of rebuke, man. You know, that prophecy is, is not is you got to swallow the whole roll, and this is part of the whole roll, man. But this is Second Thessalonians chapter one verse six. Sin is a sin. It is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. So have not these other nations troubled us? You know. All these nations have ruled over the Israelites, man, have ruled over the black Spanish Native Americans. We are suffering from these curses, you know, from the Lord that he put on us because we disobeyed his law, statutes, commandments. We haven't considered, we, we haven't, we, we st it's the Israelites out there still haven't repented, you know. So it, it's a righteous thing to, tri to tr uh, recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. That's why, that's why these other nations, man, they're going to be in slavery, according to the Bible, pertaining to Revelation chapter 13, verse 10. It's a righteous thing to get revenge, man. All right? Let the Lord get the revenge, not, not of ourselves. The Lord is going to get his revenge, man. Okay? Verse 7. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. And he's coming back with his mighty angels, man. 
And that's going to be that's going to be power that the so-called white man, and his military are not going to be able to fight. OK, because Revelation chapter 12 verse 7 speaks about there will be a war, war, a war in heaven. And where he say he prevailed not. The so-called white man will not prevail, man. He's prideful, he's arrogant, but he puts off and it's putting a false, a false sense of hope in you all, in you people's um heart, man, in you people's mind. Okay? And you, it's time for it's time to wake up, man. It's time to it's time to cut out hey, wake up, man. Wake up, man. Wake up to all this propaganda, this the bullshit that the white man has fed you. Okay? You gotta wake up to the bull, man. Alright? Verse 8, and flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not the most high and, and that obey not the gospel of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. So that's part of the, hey, those prayers are a part of the are a part of the gospel, man. You know? Take it, taking vengeance, that's that's prophecy, man. That's prophecy and that's about to happen. You know? So that's why it's face boosting when we see these prophecies come to pass. We see this RFID chapter, which is the mark of the beast pertaining to Revelation chapter 13, come to pass. It's coming right now, you know. He, hey, we, that's what we send all these prayers for these, these prophets because we know these prophecies must come to pass before we, us Israelites, rule on earth, man. It is about to be, a, the kingdom of heaven is about to be established on earth, man, and we're going to rule forever, okay? We're going to rule forever, man, pretty soon, okay? Very soon, because, you know, you people out there love to say, not in my lifetime. No, you about to see it happen. It's about to happen with a quickness, man, all right? Generation of vipers, man. But, uh, Lord willing, you know, uh, Lord willing, you know, this lesson was edifying, you know, pertaining to the curses being that mandatory prayer, you know, and just uh, putting putting that vibration out there that this place must fall, man. This place must go down. It's out of order. You know, it's wicked. It's evil. OK, it's not it's not ruled in, in righteousness right now. Obviously, you know, because when the, when the wicked rule, the people mourn. OK, but when the, when the righteous rule, the people rejoice. All right. But, you know, Lord willing, you know, this lesson was edifying and exhorting for you sincere believers out there. Okay, and I went out by giving all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekha Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well in overseas tabernacle David. Shalom, Babab Babal, man. Babab Babal, destruction of Babylon. Shalom.